I love many aspects of this monitor, but there's one thing I don't like. However, I still think this monitor might be the monitor for many of you guys watching this video. Today, I present to you the 27 inch 2K USB-C monitor by BenQ. For full disclosure, this product was sent to me for review by BenQ, but I did not receive any compensation for this video at all. BenQ is watching this review at the exact same time as you are. So with that out of the way, the question I wanna answer is whether or not this is the best budget monitor for your MacBook. In terms of how it looks, I like simple and industrial design with a hint of elegance, but this monitor plays it a little safe. It's all blacked out from top to bottom, so you shouldn't have a problem integrating it into any professional workspace, which is great. I'm a big fan of the design of the display itself. You get a lot of screen real estate at 27 inches, which is plenty to get good work done on here, and very few things to distract your eyes, thanks to the tiny bezels on all corners of the display. As for display quality, resolution, and color accuracy, we'll get to all of that great science later in the video. The base and stand and arm of this display is interesting. Um, I really like it, but I also don't. The thing I love is the wide range of adjustments you can make with its stand. You can adjust the monitor height up and down to your liking, you can also fully rotate the display to any orientation of your choosing. I actually found the portrait orientation to be very cool. You can also tilt the display forward and backwards to get the right angle for your eyes. But the thing I despise most about the stand of this display is the material choice. It's this black matte plastic. It just makes the monitor look like any other monitor in a corporate office dull and uninspiring for professional use. The odd thing is, is that BenQ understands this as they offer other monitors with a beautiful brush metal base that matches the MacBook designs and gives me that hint of elegance that I'm personally looking for. However, the caveat is that those brush metal based monitors start at $899. So my solution, I purchased an arm that the monitor now rests on, giving it a considerable boost and elegance that I'm looking for as a professional, but that's going to cost you some extra money along the way. If there's one thing I absolutely love about this monitor, it's its connectivity. Specifically for me, it's the four available USB 3.1 ports and the USB-C port. I connect my MacBook via USB-C to charge my laptop at 65 watts and access the 2K display, my external hard drives, which by the way, has been awesome for my video editing workflow and being able to get quick access to my archive files, my external keyboard and mouse via the unifying USB receiver, and surprise, the bonus accessory that BenQ also sent me for review, their screen bar monitor light. It's an LED light that illuminates your space very well while also saving space. You don't need to make room for a desk lamp as this mounts very easily to any kind of computer monitor thanks to its intelligent design. And there's no need for wall power. It works via a USB-C cable that you can actually plug right into this BenQ monitor and that's just great for cable management. It does feature a set of controls as well, auto dimming to adjust the light automatically based on lighting conditions, a power button, a temperature switch to go from cool to warm tones depending on your mood, and a brightness setting. I will say the auto dimming doesn't work very well. I would advise that you just do your own manual adjustments to your personal preferences. The killer feature about it and my personal favorite is that this light bar doesn't cause any screen glare or any reflections on your monitor. The LED lights are emitted in a way where it never actually hits the screen itself. This light bar advertises that it will help with eye strain and for me personally, I've actually seen the benefit. It's never good to work in high contrast office space where your computer is bright as day, but your entire space is dark. Overall, let's be honest here, you can achieve a lot of these results um, with a very basic desk lamp or light uh, and you just have to angle it a certain way and you should be okay. Uh, but what BenQ is offering here is a premium, very space saving experience for $100 plus. So if that's within your budget, I personally think it's well worth the money. I don't even rock a lamp on my desk. That's how well this thing illuminates everything. So let's get back to the monitor now. There are speakers built into it as well that you can use. <laughs> Or 
as you can tell, I personally avoid using them. So now let's move on to the nitty gritty and let's talk about the display science technology in this monitor. It's a 2560 by 1440 resolution 2K IPS LED panel. It's decent. The viewing angles are great and it achieves 100% sRGB and Rec. 709 wide color gamuts while still maintaining a delta E of at least three. So what does that last part mean exactly? Delta E is often used to evaluate the perceived color difference between two colors side by side. A delta E no greater than three means that the average person could not tell you the difference between two colors side by side. Therefore, this monitor provides you solid color accuracy with undistinguishable errors by the average person. A bonus is that these monitors are shipped to be color accurate out of the box and are Calman verified and Pantone validated by third parties, which is just another testament to how color accurate these displays are. The monitor also comes with customized display modes, including darkroom mode, animation mode, CAD and CAM mode, and an M-Book mode. I specifically tested the M-Book mode as the display attempts to match the colors of your MacBook screen so that you can work more consistently when switching between both displays. In practice, I don't really think it does a good job. It actually just oversaturates the image. I think you're far better off just working in standard mode with your MacBook as that's the most color accurate mode in my opinion. It also does support HDR10. So if you do have an HDR workflow, you can technically achieve it on this monitor, but I do think it's a little bit lackluster. In some cases, HDR video looks awesome, but in other cases, such as using this computer in day-to-day -day tasks, having it in HDR mode made the computer look oversaturated and just not color accurate at all. Honestly speaking, I would personally avoid buying this monitor if you are specifically looking to use it for its HDR features. Okay, so the number one thing that I don't like about this monitor is its 2K resolution. For me personally, if I'm gonna go out and buy a monitor today in 2021, it has to be at least in 4K because a lot of the content we watch these days are in 4K or even 8K at times. And all the videos I produce on this channel are in 4K resolution. However, there is a light at the end of the tunnel here. BenQ understands this and they actually offer the exact same monitor that I reviewed in this video but at a 4K resolution as well. It is an extra $100, which is a lot to be honest at this price point, but if you can be patient and save your money, I really do think you're future-proofing your purchase in a very positive way, getting the 4K resolution variant over the 2K model. If you don't care about having the highest resolution like I do, or you're just simply on a tight budget and I don't want you to go out and, and break the bank trying to buy an expensive monitor, I will make the comment and say that this monitor is probably the best, most color accurate, most useful 2K USB-C monitor for your MacBook out today, period. I've seen all the monitors out and I don't think there's something better out there uh, than what BenQ is offering at this specific price point. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe if you're new, comment hashtag MacBook, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.